Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about why the last man standing. I guess it didn't last that damn long because it got canceled halfway through the series. And I'm just like, okay, cool. That's what it that's what you get. That's what you get. The virtue signaling nonsense. I keep trying to tell people, people don't like to be told nothing, and yet y'all continuously, constantly try to virtue signal to people all the damn time. And now this is what you got in response. You got the damn show canceled. The show is called Why the Last Man Standing. And it's based off of a comic book from DC that happened years ago, to be honest, at this point. That's why I say, I just say years ago, because it technically was years ago, to be honest. Like, you can't get mad at that. But the whole premise is, hey, here's a virus that attacks the Y chromosome in human in in humans and if you have a y chromosome you pretty much dead <laughs> that ain't got that ain't nothing to do with science i mean ain't, ain't nothing to do with by bi, uh non-binary transgender all that nonsense that y'all wanted to include and then y'all had to try to put into that politically messaging thing and how when, when women are better off without men and i'm just kind of like confused like what did you think was going to happen the human race is on the brink of extinction because there's only one man and y'all really sitting up here trying to be like oh cisgendered and oh we added this new character a transsexual uh, man and because um, trans men are real men and um, trans women are real women. No, to be honest, no, they're not. You can get mad all you want to, but science don't care about your feelings. That's the whole point. The virus attacks you on a scientific, biological sense. So if you're a woman that transitioned to be a man, you still have X chromosomes. It's attacking the X chromosome. I mean, the Y chromosome, I'm sorry. The Y chromosome is attacking the Y chromosome. Now, if this was X, the last woman, then maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But still, like, <laughs> again, science don't care about your feelings when it comes to gender. And it is what it is. I just feel, feel bad because everybody was talking about how great the comic book was. But let's be honest. You didn't. You didn't stay accurate to what the comic book was, from what I was heard, from what I was told, and then you didn't really do. You um set up there and did everything for Twitter. I mean, okay, cool. So you change everything around to please people who don't care about the comic books, and then the people who do care about the comic books, you said no to them. And you wonder why the show ended up getting canceled? I, I, I don't know what to tell you, to be honest. Like, it, it was already doomed to fail because y'all literally can't let a show just be what it needs to be without adding diversity and inclusion. And you talking about, oh, well, we had we had um, diverse staffing and we had all of the, these people that was working on the set. Yeah, diversity in fucking just women. That's not diversity. Just because you get just because you get colored women or transsexual women on the on the set, that's not diversity. Your entire thing that is women. That is it. That is yeah, because that's diversity. And that's the thing about Hollywood. Y'all really think diversity means oh, women and LGBT. No, that's not damn diversity. And then it's in its false diversity because it's not natural. I, I just don't understand what you thought was going to happen with this show. And now you're talking about you shopping it around. And I know it's a DC property, but hell, it don't seem like DC wanted to touch it. And, 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 and Disney touched it. And if Disney didn't want to touch it, who are all about the virtue signal and the wokeness. What makes you think DC wants to touch it? Because DC didn't want to touch it at all. So, I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> I really don't. 
Um, am I going to watch it? No, not really, because I heard all the, all the craziness about it. It didn't look interesting enough for to hold my attention because as soon as I heard anything about it, it was it was all of those hot political takes that I just don't care um, about how oh um, though all the men died. Um, that's great, but it's very sexist that y'all think that the world will sit up there and stop running after the bitch. Yes, the fuck it would. Half the fucking population, which is the opposite sex, just damn died. What the hell you think was gonna happen? Yes, if a pilot was flying and he didn't have a female pilot, guess what? The plane crashes, air traffic controllers, people who was riding um special equipment. Yes, the world would collide, would crash because there are people dropping like flies that were probably working on something. It's just like I'm I'm driving my car right now and the virus happened and I die immediately. Okay, my foot is still on the fucking gas. There is going to be pandemonium. I don't know what makes you think it wasn't going to happen. Yes, the world the world would fall apart. It's, it's going to happen. So stop with the whole, oh, sexist bull crap nonsense. No, it's just fucking logical sense. Just like, stop trying to put in all this um, gender gender nonconformity bull crap hot take words. Non-binary doesn't make no damn sense. And trans men and trans women. Okay, if you're biologically a man, you are dead. Regardless if you're a transsexual or not. You have Y chromosomes. It's attacking something that only men have. You can't just wake up one day and choose whether you want to have Y or X chromosomes. It doesn't work like that. So why are we being stupid? That's all I'm saying because I'm just I'm just kind of confused on the logic sense of this. What did you what did y'all really think was going to happen? No seriously, what did you really think was going to happen? I mean, the show had a good premise. But as soon as we heard behind as soon as people heard behind the scenes and as soon as the um executive producer Andy Andy something, I forgot her damn name, she started talking about cis cisgendered and gender norms and what it means to be the be a gender and I was just like yeah, no, girl, that's not how this works. That turns more people off. Most people don't care about the, the nonsense, and people are out. And again, you have nobody to blame but yourself. You really do. You have nobody to blame but yourself. So this is what we get. This is where we're at, where we are not even allowed to tell a good story without going into political nonsense or trying not to hurt somebody's feelings about what really happens in the real world people look people y'all gotta understand the world doesn't work on your feelings they really don't it we are literally talking about a virus that attacks a pacific part that only men have that only men have so it doesn't matter if you're non-binary non-conformity transgender or whatever if you have a y chromosome your ass is dead. It's just how it is. That is literally the premise of the damn story. And how you have this, this boy who is literally the, the, the world's last, you know, last hope. Because he is. He's the last man alive and the world needs to be populated. I'm just being honest. The world needs to be populated. So you're going to have to figure out something. It's just kind of crazy how people forget how life works. <laughs> it just doesn't work like that. You need the opposite sex. This whole anti-rhetoric of men are bullshit. We don't need men. The world is fine without men. Uh, no, not so much. Not so much. I think that was the whole point of the damn comic book. I haven't read it, but I'm just just gonna throw it out there. I 
quite sure that was the premise of the damn book. And y'all want to throw in political messaging and your feelings about how you think everything should be when it's not. And you wonder why the the, the, the series failed. And then now you're trying to beg, hoping that somebody will shop, you know, take the show. But, I mean, who wants it? Who wants it? Disney probably got rid of it because they knew it was such a hassle. DC wasn't going to touch it because they already knew it was it was unadaptable. And that's their property. <laughs> so, I don't know what to tell y'all. But, you know, hey, this is what happens when you virtual signal real hard, to be honest. I, to be honest, everybody that worked on the show except for the actors, probably I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be blunt about it. Y'all get what the hell y'all damn deserve. You virtual sitting on this damn loud. You wanted to, you wanted to put put this agenda and this message uh, above the story. This is exactly what the hell you get. I'm sorry. There's nothing to it. I'm not trying to hear any other reasoning or justifications. You get what you goddamn deserve. You knew what the hell the damn premise was, but you couldn't even let that happen. You had to change it. So that's what you get. And that's the end of this conversation. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.